What is controlling your thoughts? What is enslaving you? Is it the television set? Feeding your mind images of what life should be? Is it the internet drawing you in and controlling your time? Is it drugs or alcohol numbing your brain and diminishing your desires? Or is it weakness, a lack of discipline that prevents you from accomplishing what you want to accomplish? Wherever focus goes, energy flows. So why don't we tap into that power now for your business and life? So many people have lost their day to distraction. What are some things you need to immediately stop doing in your life? Is it social media? Is it watching seven seasons of a show every week? What do you need to stop doing to take back control of life? Also, what do you need to start doing? And what do you need to start doing every day, every week, every month, every year to be on your A game? Discipline buys you freedom to do what you want. Sacrifice leads and gains follow. Don't look for any gains where there's been no sacrifice. Don't wake up and look for no gain. Don't look for your game to improve. Don't look for the record to improve. Without sacrifice, there are no gains. You can't make millions of dollars if you don't make million sacrifices. You're going to need to cut some fats if you want life to change. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. Because everything is based off of activity. Very few people want to show their calendar. Because if they did, you would realize who really wants to win that and who doesn't. It's mathematically impossible for you not to win at the highest level if your calendar is packed from day till night, every single day, the entire year, day after day after day after day after day, without you winning. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help you toward the goal. And so what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day, it has to change. What you're looking at, what you're reading, what you're watching, the conversations you have. You must now be focused on your dream. You must be focused on your goals. When you are great, you don't focus on a week. When you are great, you don't focus on a month. When you are great, you don't focus on a year. You concentrate on the 24 hours that's in front of you and you live. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. It's your dream. If you wanted to have it, get your butt up and make it happen. If you wanted to have it, rise and grind. If you wanted to have it, you're going to have to do what I do. And that's get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Because this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. I ain't put my dream on nobody else. And I don't care what nobody think about my doggone dream. It's your dream. Nobody's going to see it like you do it. Nobody's going to be as dedicated to it as you are. It's your dream. And they they don't have to understand and they don't have to like it it doesn't make a difference it's your dream and you my friend have been given the task to make it happen and you can't let anything stop you from doing what you were called to do everybody wants to prize but nobody loves the process everybody wants to be a champion but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say man i did it but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. The world does not reward mediocrity. You know what the rest of the world wants to pay you for? Be the best at one thing. If you know how to concentrate your efforts and be focused on one thing, you have an edge. If you can be focused on one thing, and I look at everything else that everybody else is looking at. 50 different philosophies, 75 different ways to make money, 19 different streams of income. If you can figure out a way to go here, all of that stuff's going to come your way. But if you go chase all the other stuff like everyone else is, you're going to miss the whole point of winning your life because you can't concentrate.
When you show me anyone today who knows how to concentrate, I'll show you someone that nobody wants to compete with. Winners complain. Winners want to hear themselves talk. Champions do not complain. Why? Because they're focusing on what they say they want to do as a goal. You're not putting energy. You're not commanding your gift. You're not commanding your opportunity. You're not commanding your resources. You're not commanding your dreams and goals. You look at them jokers once every three months, if that. You better be looking at them jokers every day. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. I need us to look at all the possibilities, all of the potential. And I need us to go for it every single day. Monday grind, Tuesday grind, Wednesday grind, Thursday grind, Friday grind, Saturday grind, Sunday grind. Every opportunity that exists, I need you to go after it. If you want to be successful, if you want to dominate in the area, you got to let everything go but that thing you're pursuing. You can't chase two rabbits and catch both of them. So you put your attention on one and go after it. There is no capability difference between you and someone you consider to be an ultimate role model of success. The only difference is they've learned to manage their state and they've learned to control their mental focus. Whatever we concentrate our focus on consistently and strive to learn from, we will get great at. I don't care what it is, if you focus on it daily and you strive to be better, you're going to make little distinctions that will make you more and more effective every single day. You should figure out what is it you desire in life and figure out the steps to get there and start working a plan to get there and minimizing everything else, getting very clear on the mission, very clear on the mission, and working the plan. Everything else, guess what it gets? A no. This is the truth of success. Most people can't succeed because they can't deal with all the old motherfuckers pull them off the game plan. You're going to have to get real f***ing comfortable sticking to your own plan and telling them no when they want to go out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you want to win, whether it's this year or next year or ever, you're going to have to get real comfortable keeping your head on your plan and put the time into making yourself happy. If you plan to shake of this world, then you have to hustle. That is the secret. That is the reason Michelangelo said, if you knew how much work I put into my art, you would not call it genius. You know how hard I work to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tear. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. I worked for this sweat, blood, tears. I earn every dime I get. I work for this. I put in time. We have to stop making excuses. We have to stop letting into distractions. We have to stop getting unfocused. Everyone wants to win, but few want to prepare. Few want to put in the work that it truly takes. Few want to really love the process. Most of us are just addicted and obsessed with the result and what we want. But really, the magic is in the being and the process. The magic is in the day to day. The magic is in the work. The magic is in the practice. The magic is in the moment when we become the winner before we even won. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. You gotta know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like, because you don't, you're gonna compromise. I don't alter my mission at hand. No one fucks with me, because I don't allow them to. It's gotta be that way, it's gotta be unconditionally focused. What that means is that if you are in and you believe in yourself, no one can change that. In order to have unbelievable choice and options in your life, in your pursuit of your dream, you must eliminate them. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time, and master it and get great at it for an extended period of time. Don't stop. Narrow your focus. One idea. One. And make it work. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. The irony of life is that the more you shrink your options in pursuit of your dream, the more it'll open them up in your life later. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. Make a damn schedule and stick to it so that you have the day you want. 
that's the trick. It's like, okay, I've got tomorrow. If I was going to set it up so it was the best possible day I could have, what would it look like? Well, then you schedule that. So if you want more free time, you need more discipline time. More scheduled time towards the things that matter, the more vacation time for you and your family. That's how you get ahead. What's your distraction? Just be honest. Are you distracted by ESPN? Are you distracted by movies, Netflix, video games, gossip? Are you distracted with things that don't don't matter in your life. Ask yourself truthfully, your big goals and dreams, can you get laser obsessively focused almost to its exclusivity for an extended period of time? I'm talking about a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, even a decade towards something you want so badly you want it like oxygen. It's like you want it like you want to live. Are you extendedly laser focused on it or do you get distracted easily? Our obsessions become our possessions, but we won't possess them if we're not truly obsessed. Turn your damn TV off. Turn your phone off a lot too. Does it really matter what's going on with the Kardashians right now? Don't be so obsessed with them. Be obsessed with your own reality TV program called your own life. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. Suffering and sacrifice and hard work is an indication of progress towards our dreams. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. You'll pay that one the rest of your life. And so ask yourself what you're willing to risk. What's the price you're willing to pay? Stop negotiating the price. It's a freeing experience to totally commit. When you totally commit to a business, to your fitness, it's a freeing, powerful, it's almost like removing kryptonite from your life when you totally commit. Can you do that? The people around you always say, it's costing too much. It's costing too much. You guys are going, no, it's worth it. I dare you to work on yourself for six months. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to shut out all the distractions. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. Every day when I wake up, I got all kind of demands. You got all kind of demands. And the reason why you're not where you want to be is you taking all other people's stuff before you spend enough time with yourself to get to know you and get to know what you want and what you should do. Come on, y'all. Y'all heard it a million times. In case of an emergency, put the doggone mask on yourself first. And the problem with most of you in this room, you giving it to everybody else first. And then you piss when you give it to everybody else first and you come up short and you wonder why you came up short because you gave it to everybody else first. Take care of you. You guys need to understand what you don't have to do. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to eat right. You don't have to sleep right. You don't have to do more than what's required of you. You don't have to be a good teammate. You don't have to be a good leader. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win. You don't have to be a success in life. You don't have to help your team win. You don't have to play. So the greatest things in life take sacrifice and discipline. And that's why so few people achieve great things. Because they don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to discipline for some greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to? It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and insight and in focus. 